Hi, in this video I'm just going to be showing you how I solder QFN ICs. So once you remove the old IC you're going to want to add some flux, then get your solder bread and you're going to want to wick away the old solder that's left on the board. Then you can clean it with some isopropyl alcohol. And then you're going to want to dry up the area. I dried it up here using a cotton bud but you can set your hot air station to 100 degrees celsius and max airflow and you can dry it off that way then you're going to want to add some solder paste to the center pad so you can add a nice bit of solder to the center pad here then I set my hot air station to 450 degrees celsius and I, I'm using a max airflow for this Now after you have that melted in the middle, you want to get your soldering iron. And for this I'm using a big conical tip. Bigger tips have better heat transfer, so it'll make the job a lot easier. So you want to get your tip and come into the center pad. And once you see it starting to melt, you can just push the solder around, nice and gently around, evenly. Around that center pad. Now you can add some flux to the area. Then you want to come back in with your soldering iron and once you see that center pad starting to melt you want to push the solder around to the outside pads in a circular kind of fast motion. So just keep pushing it around nice and quickly around to the outside pads until you see them all get nice and shiny. Now I did clean up the area here again but you wouldn't have to clean up, I just couldn't really see under the scope, I'm not using the best scope in the world to be doing this. I was just trying to double check that there was no bridging. Now you want to add some more flux to the area. And now I gotta come back in with 450 degrees Celsius and max airflow again. Now you want to get your chip ready, and once you see that center pad starting to melt, once it's flowing, basically you've got to see what I mean here. Once that solder in the middle starts flowing, you just want to drop the chip on as best as you can, into the, kind of line it up as best you can. Just roughly it'll do for now. Now once you have the chip in place you can start nudging it until you see it move back into place. As you can see there it jumped back into place there. I'm just going to double check the bottom that it was in properly and it did it move backwards there if you've seen it so that means the chip is in place now so now you can remove the hot air. And then you want to gently tap, I'm sorry, you would want to gently press on the top of the IC. And then you want to come back in with your air and you're going to see a bit of solder squeeze here. That won't make a difference now. Once you see that, just keep the heat there for a second and then move it back. 
keep holding the chip at this point until you see that solder starting to dry up then you can leave go <coughs> okay now you're going to want to add some more flux and then you can come back in with your solder tip and you're just going to want to lightly run your soldering iron along the side of the chip just removing any of that excess solder and make sure you have a clean tip while you're doing this it will make it a lot easier Yeah, so once you're done you can clean up and that should hopefully be it you can just look underneath and all the corners of the chip just to make sure that the chip is down flat and everything is soldered properly but it should be all right at this point so you can give it a clean up then and hopefully your chip should be on properly then so that's all for this video if this method did help you out you know please do hit the like button and if you like this type of content you can subscribe so that's it. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully this method did help you out.